Hello everyone, welcome back to the Roycey Reader. Today's installment will be a reading of the article entitled The Natural's Dilemma, originally published December 11th, 2012. The Natural, the man who has a seemingly otherworldly ability to entrance women. The Natural, not the CEO, nor the jet fighter, nor the doctor, is the man most men secretly admire and wish they had some of his mysterious mojo. But in reality, he does not possess any magical abilities out of reach of ordinary men. The natural is similar to the self-taught pickup artist, with the critical distinction being that the former assimilated the lessons of love earlier in life. His master strokes paint the canvas of women effortlessly because he has been in training since he first noticed that girls and boys are different. If you break down the game of naturals, you'll learn that their maneuvers and tactics and strategies, far from being indefinable essences that only a very few lucky can lay claim to, are in fact identical to the blueprints of learned game. Neither is the natural necessarily good-looking. Many naturals, perhaps most of them, are nondescript in the looks department. But because there is good reason to think a lot of them have inherited the dark triad suite of personality traits, they are skilled at presenting themselves in a way that projects their sex appeal, or invents it whole cloth, if need be. No, what the natural has that mere mortals don't is this. Unstoppable confidence. They had the alpha attitude at a young enough age that it became ingrained to such an extent they rarely yield to the temptation to doubt their appeal to women. But the externally validated natural who has spent a lifetime leaning on his looks slash social connections slash fame to get laid has a dilemma. As a reader puts it, and I quote, I've said it many times before, the most pathetic thing in the world is a natural who's lost his mojo." Unquote. The very blessing that makes the natural an early adopter lady killer is the curse that hobbles him later in life when challenges arise that introduce cracks to his impenetrable edifice of entitlement. You see, the externally validated natural has not bothered to learn the Crimson Arts. He has not mastered the state control that is necessary when inevitable dry spells occur, or when glances from women are fewer and farther between, or when uppity women with visions of McMansion upgrades dancing in their heads give him shit he is not accustomed to receiving. He has never studied how to remain aloof and indifferent in the face of female fickleness because he has rarely experienced what life is like as a beta male who must battle to be loved rather than watching love fall on his lap like autumn leaves. The natural who understands on a more than superficial level the nature of women and who has a working familiarity with game concepts is a force 10 charmer. Most naturals don't. They do the right things without knowing how or why they do them. When success eludes them and the expected warmth from women is missing, they are left with nothing. No storehouse of knowledge or pride of past success achieved through self-aware hard work to pull them up from a dangerous downward spiral into the betitude they never quite understood either. That will conclude the article. This has been the Roycey Reader with The Natural's Dilemma. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.